Hello and welcome to Move Conversations. This is your host Venkat. In this episode, we talk to S Kumar. Kumar is a fellow IFTN and spent many years in the Indian movie distribution business. He had worked in uh, senior positions in Columbia TriStar, which later became Sony Pictures Entertainment, and in Singapore he worked on a 13-part uh, series called uh, named uh, Ellaigal for Vasantham. He recently uh, stepped down from a successful stint as senior vice president of uh, Fox Star Studios, a division of Star TV. He has worked in Chennai and Mumbai, two major uh, hubs of Indian cinema, as well as in Singapore. He also worked in West Africa and Middle East before he entered the movie business. Full disclosure: Kumar was a classmate of both uh, my co-producer Mrigank and I when we were students of Indian Institute of Foreign Trade. So, Kumar, welcome to Move Conversation Trade Staff. Uh, Thank you, Venkat. So let's let's begin with the start of your career journey in this business. So, how did you get started in movie business, and you know which year was it? It was, uh, I think, it was nineteen ninety eight, if I'm not mistaken. It was okay. a chance meeting. Uh, the Sony Pictures Entertainment had got a new MD from outside the industry, Uday Singh. So they were trying to revamp the Indian operations. They were looking at opening an office in Chennai, handling the complete southern market, and they were setting up a new office. So they had come down for interview to Chennai, and I know Uday Singh before, so I had mm -hmm. gone to meet him more as a friend. And uh, their sales director, Kesi Darwala, happened to be there. So both of them, we just had tea. By end of the conversation, he said, "Why don't you join?" <laughs> I said, "What? I mean, I am not. I know nothing about the movies." He said, "That's why I need you." So that's how it started. I said, "Okay, let me give it a try." It was totally new, and we started off from there, and now it's twenty-two years, and finally, I. It's it's an interesting uh, industry because every product, you know, every movie is a new product, and once it's released, you throw it out and go into the next product, which can happen only in this industry. In that industry, so right? that, that's how we got into it. <laughs> so, so what was the Indian movie distribution landscape like? Like when you joined, uh, you know, in the late nineties, uh, did we have many foreign films being released in India that those days? And you know, what did you get started with? Uh, see, initially we started with the foreign films, and foreign films at that time were not releasing simultaneously. Right, we used to release delayed, uh, partly because it was the print cost and the market was too small for them. and also because of our censor restrictions where we had to submit a variety review to get the censor done so all those things so movies used to get delayed release not all movies used to get released there are certain big movies used to get released and the landscape was i mean it's it's absolutely every lots of individuals doing their own thing and all exhibitors are individuals there is no consolidation so it was a totally I'm not the nice sector in that mm -hmm. sense. Okay. When so did start. you get oh, did you get involved in the distribution of uh, English as well as Hindi movies or other and other Indian languages at that time straight away or? Uh, no. For initially, we started with the English movies. Uh, but initially, what we started is we started dubbing a lot more movies than what used to happen. Okay. So most of the bigger movies we started dubbing in Tamil and Telugu. Okay. and we created a distribution setup and we started distributing directly mm -hmm. before that people used to sell when mm -hmm. you dub it you sell it to some local print distributor but here right. we set up our own systems we started mm -hmm. dubbing more movies but right. uh, three years down the line three four years down the line we got into hindi movies right right uh interesting that you talked about dubbing and especially in uh, you know into hindi and uh, tamil and telugu and so on um so uh, i i do remember a conversation way back then when you said that the the quality of dubbing at the for at that time you know in, in india was very good and so on and you know what what was uh, is is that correct and what was it like and uh, what was you, you know different from rest of the world dubbing at that point of time uh see the main difference is rest of the world was used to subtitling okay I india was used to dubbing and watching in their own language in that time not now so there already had a lot of hindi movies in you know even in television hindi used to get dubbed in tamil and tamil into hindi so there is a lot of uh, experience over there 
So th that's the reason they were used to dubbing. So obviously there were dubbing artists who specialized in it. So the quality was good, yes. And it has improved a lot from that time to now. Right. Now we use yeah. celebrities for dubbing and, you know, things have changed a lot. True, true, true. I mean, um, those days I remember having watched some of the, uh, you know, English movies when I used to travel in uh, into Russia and so on. And the, the English dialogues used to run in the background and, uh, and the Russian, you know, you could hear both the Russian dialogues in the foreground and, uh, you know, you could hear both and it was like, uh, you know. Um, terrible compared to in India where some of them were pretty good with lip syncing also, right? Despite the change in yeah. the language and so on and so forth. I'm oh, glad. So, you know, uh, did you get involved in deciding which uh, foreign films will be released in India and like, like which will not be and how are those decisions or selections made? Uh, uh, see, the easy decisions are first made in the head office, which okay. we won't release. Okay. But the movies which we release, South is a major market for Hollywood. So in the for Hollywood they, movies. Yes, yes. Always okay. and even now even more. So they always used to send in those days print. Okay. So first the Bombay office will see it and send the print to Chennai. Mm -hmm. so they will decide for rest of the India. So for South, they will wait for our inputs from the Chennai office. So then okay. it's a joint decision. Yes, this movie can be released. This movie can be dubbed. Then the decision is made. So in, in your uh, uh, role, did you get involved in getting clearance from the censor board of India and so on? Was it part of your portfolio or somebody else was already? Uh, Not in Sony, but in Foxstar, it is my portfolio throughout. From the beginning, all Hindi, English, Tamil, all of them. Right. But uh, not so much in Sony. Okay. Uh, but yeah, since you're talking about censor, mm -hmm. uh, I know that everybody was talking about Pella and Ilani, so strict censor and all that. But I will give a lot of credit to him for bringing transparency, digitizing the whole process, removing the middlemen and removing corruption. Okay. That part of it, he has done a great job, at least in the Bombay Censor Office. So, so, so in the in the past, you would uh, even when you decide on a movie, you would also probably take the uh, you know factor the censor uh, decisions and influences when you select a movie, right? Uh, in the past, in the past. Even now. Even now, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> see, see, the censor uh, is so subjective. It depends right. on the panel at that time. Right, right. So okay. just to give you an example, when Kingsman, we uh, censored the English version, that panel cleared it with one or two, just cut some mutes or what, very minor. But when we went for the Hindi dub version sensor, the panel has changed and we had 23 audio cuts. So, oh my God. So it depends right. on uh, perception. Ideally, it should work as a certification and not as a sensor. It should be certifying A or UA or whatever. But unfortunately, it's not happening. But 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 like look, you you and I cut our teeth in um, you know exports from India, and we know that we had uh, uh, customs officer prevention, right? So so you know so the mindset was yeah. you know stopping <laughs> right. So so it is not only like you know people may know about censor board and like pick on them, but uh, you and I know that like it was you know pervasive in many things, right? In many yes. other countries, you and I having worked abroad also know that it is export promotion is the is the word used and uh, you know here was prevention so yeah. so you know we, we we understand the mindset so let's get back to the distribution part of uh, you know uh, movies in india so are there seasonalities in 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 movie distribution like do they align it with summer holidays or festival holidays and so on and so forth uh, it is that like in any other market mm -hmm. but uh, in india there are about 1000 movies made everybody cannot get that pre four holidays Right. Before holidays, Eid is Salman, then right. Amir for December, and okay. Shahrukh for you know in Diwali. So it's all like kind of others were having a problem. So off late, right. what is happening is, in fact, we were in Fox uh, responsible for it. We release movies almost in every month, and okay. we have shown that it can do hundred crore plus. So it's a case to case basis. It's a choice of coming with a lot of competition. If you're going on a holiday, you're going to have Tamil, you're going to have Telugu, which are Tamil and Hindi, and maybe, so there will be a lot of competition. So do you want to come with that and take the higher footfall? Or do you want to come in a 
a lesser crowded space and get more shows and maybe a continuation, better continuation. So it's and a case to case worked, space. Right? It worked for us in every month of the year we approved it. Wow, that's uh, fantastic. The, the, the first 100 crore movie of Varun Dhawan, uh, that is, was in February. Then we have done in March, Jolly LLB. So okay. we have done every time and boost, but there are certain kind of movies like Prem Ratan Dan Payo, Diwali works for it. Right. Uh, so it's a, it's summer a holidays very, is good or bad? Summer holidays is good, but summer holidays we have a lot of competition from the Hollywood movies. Ah, oh, okay. so yeah, that's a, yeah, 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 so it, yeah, it's yeah. always a, you need to take a call depending on the availability. There are only 52 weeks and there are 1000 plus movies. So. Right, right, right. You know, we started with uh, distribution, and so, so, so far we talked about that. So, uh, but I think we should, uh, for 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 most of us to understand your your industry better, we should, you know, step back a little bit from the time a movie is, you know, completed. You know, what are the major steps in movie business till it becomes a box office hit? You know, feel free to include everything. You know, poster design, making trailers, use of television, social media, celebrity interviews, whatever it is, whatever else is important, part of the marketing efforts, the way it's done in India. Everything that goes through that, like just, just you know, help us understand that better. First, once we see the completed first cut of the movie by right. the marketing distribution, all the teams, hmm. then we sit down together and start working towards a plan, the possible release date. And release dates also might influence your marketing efforts. Right. And then both the first look is extremely important nowadays okay. because the choice is so much with OTTs and this. A movie is rejected in the first look or in the first trailer, it's very difficult to bring it back on. So the first look, a lot of effort goes into that, a lot of discussions, a lot of testing. And then finally, you come out in the first look. And the first trailer, digital, especially is even more challenging. Because in the cinema, once you start the trailer, you have no choice but to watch the full trailer. Correct. But in a digital, if you don't get them in the first few seconds, they may just cut off and go. Exactly. So even the design of the trailer for a or online, it's extremely important. But once you get the first one right, then we get into the next stages. And nowadays, the windows is uh, previously used to start marketing a movie 10 weeks before, eight weeks before. Now it is like four weeks is good enough. And people don't wait for too long to remember. So it's, it's short and sweet. And then you focus, depending on the holiday, depending on the movie genre, and depending on the target audience who you think it works, marketing and distribution work very closely together to see which markets we should identify, which markets you should go after. Should we go after the digital, which is the major medium right now? But a certain kind of movies, a television audience works. So we, the decision is taken and then we keep on, you know, fine tuning it till the release. Right. Um, in the past, especially in the South where you, you know, got started, uh, you know, giant size posters were, were a big deal. Are they still relevant? Are they still important? No, no they're absolutely irrelevant. I can release mm -hmm. a movie without a poster. Most of the Hollywood <laughs> movies, we do it. In right. fact, uh, these are the things which we did in Sony. A lot of experimentation, okay. which became successful because we didn't know about the industry. Oh, okay. Uh, it, when a movie, I can tell you a classic example of uh, Six Sense and Runaway Bride. Right. I said, why the hell we put a poster for this movie? Nobody is going to come through poster for this movie. So we okay. did not put any poster in Chennai. And the whole market guru said, what are you doing? You're, you know, it's foolishness and all that. And it worked big time. I said, rather put that money into, into at that time. Paper. Oh, the newspaper ads and promotion. Yeah, newspaper ads. Not anymore. Now I would have, we would have put it in digital. So right. those days we put it in the newspaper. It made a difference and then it got accepted. So that's, I, that's interesting. Those, so this poster is important, but again, digital online. Your physical poster is more of, again, all the multiplexes we send the electronic poster, which is a digital poster, which is, you know, moves around in the screens. And right. yeah, to some extent, in the smaller cities, the postering is still done. But uh, it's not that important. But sometimes you do it to, you know, in the very small towns, 
and in the B towns, and more because the trade is under 200 year old trade. So the mind is set. Are you posted in India? So what will happen? So you know, you do it for just do it for the sake of it, right? To, check to, check to the boxes. The piece, the director, actor, this somebody will say, I didn't see the poster here. So <laughs> it, it's come to that. Right now, it's digital mainly, which works big time in India. And and you know, we we see a lot of these. Uh, um pre movie or the movie we release week uh, interviews on all these tv channels and social media and all um how how important are they now uh, you know all those gaming programs competitions etc etc you yeah. see yeah see the, this is in our industry there is nothing in concrete whether it works or not there are two different points of view okay <laughs> now the lo- lot of people do feel now like me that these are okay you have time and value do it mm. what is more important is getting your trailer this online material right i think that is the most important part we sir closer to the release to keep the awareness on you can do it but a decision to watch or not is made by the material and friends and family internationally all the results it show that it is online and friends and family and they decide today you cannot influence them that easily they have decided i am going to watch it or not watch it and like our times where this was the only outlet there is no other entertainment so that was right. different right so so you often uh, you know mean to today a uh, couple of times you mentioned the importance of trailers i get a sense of it so so tell us um, what are the criteria um, you know that that are used to select a trailer you know select the visuals in a trailer you know what scenes get selected how how a decision is made what trailer is to be to be used that is a, that is the most important part it takes a lot of time marketing and department with the director with uh, everyone we get into a brainstorming like what should the trailer say what should how do you hold them and make them want to see the movie so a lot of different cuts are made sometimes we use different agencies to give their cuts and the director is of course involved and then finally you know a call is made it's it's a very very difficult decision do you make we multiple do some versions testing. yeah yeah definitely we make multiple versions we do the testing to testing then, as in focus group testing we do focus group testing sometimes sometimes in house also but focus group yes it is done for big or movies and then finally you arrive at it but all this for hindi for english we have ready made but they do have a lots of even hollywood makes a lot of different versions you know mm-hmm. this would appeal to asia market you will have some 12 13 you can choose from there or they have toolkits from there you can choose and make your own within the limited parameters so the, it's a, it takes a lot of time and effort and it's extremely important and you would get involved in all these things would you yes yes mm. yes it's it's all the team me marketing production everyone gets involved and we take as much input as possible mm-hmm. but finally yeah the decision has to be made by the the director needs to approve also most of the times because he is, yeah. has to be part of it. right any any difference in the steps if it if it was an english movie you know a lot of what you describe for most of it was for indian movie in granular yeah. detail um a uh, notable differences if it were an english movie apart from that some material will come from there yeah see the Not- notable differences of late in the last mm. few years mm. they've started giving a little more leverage to us to uh, you know make our own trailer from the inputs available to suit oh, okay. the market they so didn't before given. okay no before it wasn't there before these are the accepted ones take it or leave it choose from this now we hmm. have an option sometimes to create our own and say this is how we want it so that has been given and also like subtitling in india we subtitle all the english movies in english when we first told them they were like kind of what the hell <laughs> <laughs> english to english yeah, what <laughs> english what the hell yeah And later now in fact they came back to me couple of years back why didn't you do the trailers also <laughs> so, so that's how things have changed yeah 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 they don't understand that for the way they speak english we need english to english translation uh, <laughs> so you know one more thing that we often uh, see in the context of uh, uh, you know before a movie is released or at the time of uh, releasing a movie is uh, 
film songs you know indian film songs so there's a uh, uh, there are songs which have been released in advance and so on so do film songs feature in your marketing and distribution uh, you know as a strategy uh, we talked about uh, uh see not in distribution trailers. okay uh, in marketing for certain kind of movies it doesn't okay. have as much importance as before okay okay but so that has from, changed yeah that has changed but from a monetizing point of view it adds value so it helps and for a certain kind of movies it works mm-hmm. but for a certain kind of movies for a niche yeah, i can i don't need a song to market it for a right. badla you know those kind of movies so it it depends on the movie to movie so the importance of song to set up a movie has definitely come down though it's not totally out okay interesting yeah. so interesting. some commercial movies it does help oh. right so you know um you had uh, talked about some of the changes as you know in in, in specific questions uh, you know from the time that you started out or oh, the changes that have taken place in the industry uh, but but let's let's um, highlight a few so what have been the major changes you know if you if you step back and look at it what are the major changes that you have seen in the movie distribution business uh, over the last few decades top 4 or 5 which are you know important and significant in your view i, I know some of you covered but you know if there's something else that you would like See, to the add the major yeah the major yeah the major difference in distribution when we started off it used to be prints hmm hmm and since prints are expensive and the sending the prints collecting it back the logistics was painful mm-hmm. so the releases were much you know it's not as wide as it is today so the major change is the digitization right. of the print is a major major change then of course the consolidation of the exhibition space which is the coming in of multiplexes mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so with multiplexing lot of different contents have started getting accepted which is another major change these are the two major i would say milestone changes and the third one is happening right now with ott ott yep yep so yep. what i feel is the positive side of ott the audience are used to different kinds of contents and they are used to watching it with subtitles so now they will be able to accept a different kind of a, not just a mass action movie a different kind of a tamil movie with subtitle in the hindi market i think that is the change which is going to happen now uh, just to give you a small example master the vijay's movie which released recently mm-hmm. uh, i was talking to the pvr programmer he was just saying normally what they do is they release one screen the tamil version in the northern cities and another two three screens will be the hindi dub version but this time there was a lot of demand for the original version with subtitle okay so they they changed from second day onwards the tamil with subtitle to more than one screen and reduce the number of hindi so which is a welcome change in a way if it is i mean we'll have to see how it pans out in take time but i think this is another major change which is happening right now but the two major changes digitization multiplex these right. are the major game changers and and they have enabled you to distribution far and wide same time releases and so on and far so and wide and also releasing almost all the hollywood movies the smaller movies also can get released because right. you have smaller audiences quality cinemas which can bring in family audiences even in smaller towns right and right it's made right, a huge right. difference right so given these things happening do you see some consolidations either happening or um, likely to come in the consolidations are already happening as we can see in multiplexing it's already happened mm-hmm. and even in studios that was you know there are few studios are getting stronger and stronger mm-hmm. it is happening and it will continue to happen on the mm-hmm. production side it is still not fully on but i think it's a question of time because smaller producers may not be able to survive right so right. it is finally going to be not exactly monopolies but more of oligopolies a few big players controlling the scene is already happening and it will continue to happen right right you know um 
piracy is another issue that that you know often talked about in you know in 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 asia in many other markets so what are the situation like in uh, you know in uh, 2000 to 2010 period and in the subsequent decade and what has changed for better for worse see it is changed the digitization coming in piracy is and with the fantastic qualities of cameras and phone and all that obviously the piracy quality piracy has gone up drastically but having said that also digitization has also helped you in releasing the movies wider and reaching the audience faster so it uh, it is both positives and negatives but yes piracy is still a major issue but there are okay. two kind of piracies there are one set of people who are the geeks who are anyway going to watch on their laptop do whatever you want to do hmm. i see them as not an audience lost because they are not going to come to cinema anyway hmm. that the other kind of audience which given a chance would like to see in some other format so that's where the windowing comes in i think the windowing needs to come in and a quality product should be available in some format for the honest you know the movie uh, uh, audience in right. some format available if i have right. some format available then i may not do it correct correct so, so the windowing has to come to play, down yeah. so the windowing has to get stabilized around that so it's available somewhere correct 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 i get that i get that yeah. i think that that's an interesting point and i think industry should consider that right so kumar how are the uh, overseas markets evolving for uh, indian cinema like some of the indian superstars have huge fan following outside india as well so how are the distributors reaching out to this fan base the overseas market is still limited to the indian diaspora okay okay it's it's not like we have reached the hollywood or we are eating into their market we, are, we still reach the indian diaspora the major three markets are still uk us and middle east mm -hmm, mm -hmm. middle east and us are growing markets mm -hmm. and you uk is actually coming down it's a little old market it's the old indians mm -hmm. so even when it comes to movie a movie like a kabir singh would do well in us but uk is more of a rashi for uh, you know karan jo so it okay. it is like that and middle east actually mirrors india okay okay this three together gives you 75 to 80% of the market is still hmm so so but it is That's growing 80% yes. of the overseas market collection overseas market overseas market obviously this three okay and uh, yeah yeah and also generally see generally what happens is uh, your bigger stars bigger movies well known movies they work better in the overseas but with the young crowd coming into us us is actually accepting a little more of differential movies the multiplex movies as we call it that works better in us right so you know um i i noticed that like three things that came to top of my mind uh, in addition to these markets about overseas markets were uh, rajinikanth and japan uh, emerging china market where some of the indian movies have become successful i've had uh, you know students from china you know talking to me about some of the american movies and so on and so forth uh, you know three idiots and stuff like that they relate uh, you know could relate to it um as well as you know southeast asian uh, market uh, you know um here itself all right in 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 where we are based out of singapore malaysia and a lot of huge fan following for many of the stars so so what you're saying is uh, they are not uh, sort of uh, uh, they, no, they don't I, come in the radar screen in terms of collections and things like that uh no not china is a separate up of the altogether japan is a one off case rajini muttu work and this these are all things which happen once in a while southeast asia is again indian diaspora so that is clear china yes amir khan is big there no doubt about that but again that market nobody knows when you will be able to get a date because everything is controlled by the chinese you know the one company so right right you don't know when you'll whether it will release if it releases when what so you cannot plan based on the china china mm -hmm. is icing on the cake if it happens mm -hmm. it clicks it's huge it could be bigger than india when it clicks right. the market is huge right but south, south east asia don't say yeah go ahead south east asia is still uh, not so big 
for tamil maybe yes but uh, hindi it's not so big it's okay Right. No, you'll break the hearts of uh, many uh, Malaysians and Malays, uh, you know, uh, who follow, you know, Shah Rukh Khan and other yeah, actors. Yeah. Like, like when you say that, like, like no, 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 it's only Indian diaspora poor thing. I mean, they, they, they're so, you know, sincere and they follow. And there are there are previous generations who sing Muhammad Rafi songs, like, like tens of thousands of songs and things. Yeah, like yeah, that. that is true, Venkat. <laughs> but if you if you look at uh, in Malaysia, right. the top ten movies, Tamil right. movies come in. Yeah, but no Hindi movie comes in a top ten. True, true, true. I Because Tamil, yeah. there is a Tamil population. It's true. Hindi is still limited to that certain things, but it is the main city, so you talk about it. True, 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 true. So, what are the challenges in distributing Indian movies? You know, outside India, and uh, you know, the distribution uh, industry abroad may be uh, structured differently. So, is it easier? Is it more difficult? How how is U.S. market different from U.K. market, from you know Middle East market, and so on? See, the distribution is actually not so different. Okay. All over the world, it's kind of same. Only thing what has changed is you normally used to have the Indian distributors doing it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But with Foxstar coming in, our U.S. and U.K. is distributed by Fox. Oh, okay. Okay, and Middle East is by the Fox distributor with us. So we broke that chain of a few people holding that market. Now it is open to the studios also. So now other studios also the bigger movies they do it themselves. So they have the reach of the Hollywood for even for the Indian movies. It's not that it's work big time that every movie works, but at least you have that. So that is a change. Otherwise, every market is more or less. Multiplexed and going through kind of a similar kind of a digitized and wider releases is going through a similar kind of flow like in the Indian market. Thank you for joining us in yet another episode of Move Conversations. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Please subscribe to the Move Conversations YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get notifications of new episodes. Thank you very much. Till I see you in the next episode. Thank you very much. Have a great day.